matches for you. Uh, game that I played earlier, they had Steam Deathmatch on, what is this, Combine? Yeah, it's pretty much Combine. Um, so what this is, this is, um, earlier today I had, I got in a lobby, and I'm not sure if it was a lobby, or I just <clears throat> was having a really good hour or so, but I played, like, a few games that were just out of this world, especially for Team Deathmatch, I think. Um, pretty phenomenal. You'll probably see some other gameplays from this My Finest Hour, uh, reference to one of the earlier pods, I believe. My Finest Hour, right? I don't know. Whatever. Is it? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. If I'm gonna make references to something, I'm gonna make sure that they're actually references. Yeah, the finest hour, Call of Duty finest hour. Absolutely. See, I know what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, it's nearing the end of 2015, so I'm gonna do a little evaluation of my YouTubeness, and <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it light and not too depressing, because I am aware that sometimes whenever I make these videos, I'm just like wallowing in self pity and just like wondering why nobody likes me. Uh, I'm not gonna keep it like that, cause I mean, YouTube's been around since so what 2005. This is 10 years now. Yeah, I think what Smosh went on YouTube the first year it came out, and they just had their 10 year anniversary UAV not too long ago. So yeah, about 10 years YouTube's been up, and I understand that the channels that are popular started back long ago, and that's how they've grown up today. And there's just in a absolutely excessive amount of gaming channels out there. There's not really any particular reason I should feel bad about not being one of the few channels that really made it big. And that's not really ever what I wanted either. But, you know. Um, I have on my About section uh, a list of, like, freaking, what's it called? Landmark subscribers. I got 500 subscribers on July 21st, 2012, and I've stagnated around 720, 730 um, since then. I mean, I'm not, I, I didn't get 230 subscribers in one day, like July 22nd, 2012, but between then and now, <clears throat> I've definitely been stagnated around 720 subscribers at least for a year. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to try to, like, be sad that I haven't really gained any subscribers or anything. I haven't had a consistent upload schedule either, and that that doesn't help at all. I can't really expect to gain subscribers or anything if I'm just going to upload whenever I feel like. And uh, that's, that's what I do do, because I do do. Because uh, this is really a hobby, and I made 14 cents for videos in September. If any of you are like small time partners, you know that like, I think I just ran up past a guy right there. Did I run past a guy and he didn't even care? I think I did. Um, but yeah, like, it's a hobby and that's just all I want it to be. So if I'm not uploading consistently, then you know, that's fine. I try to stream sometimes too. If you, you, if you guys are into that, that's where all my Binding of Isaac videos come from because PS4 can only really, can only record 15 minute segments and I'm not gonna make three videos for one run on Binding of Isaac, so I have to stream it then export it from Twitch. Um, but this is a hobby, so like, if I can entertain at least one person with my videos, that's all that really matters, and if I entertain nobody, at least I know that I can talk to myself and have fun and, you know. If anyone ever stumbles across my videos, then, you know, good for them. Hopefully they enjoyed. Um, because, yeah, that's, that's, it's a hobby. Whether I'm entertaining people or not, I'm going to do it, because it's a hobby, and that's what you're supposed to do with hobbies. So, yeah. If I can entertain at least one person in the world with my videos, it makes me feel good. Because if my hobby is entertaining somebody else... If doing my hobby gets to someone and they're entertained because of it, then that makes me feel good. 
And so that's that's really what this video is about. Short and sweet to the point. Um, amazing gameplay if you weren't paying attention to the gameplay at all. Um, 75 and 24, they didn't even get a third of their way to the goal. And I went uh, 26 and 0, I got all my score streaks. Uh, everybody on the other team, half their team left apparently I guess. There is only three people remaining. This is ov obviously in theater mode. I got all my score streaks, a UAV, a Talon, and a Raps. So it was a pretty excellent game and expect uh, at least one other game that I can recall that was from my finest hour. Later on, I'll probably find another commentary or something to talk about in there. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, you can like and comment. And if you did stumble upon this video and... This might be a weird video for you to stumble upon of any of my videos. I'm at 660-some videos, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's Black Ops 3, so it's definitely relevant. You're probably going to stumble upon this video uh, easier than you're going to stumble upon, like, a Black Ops 1 video. But anyway, yeah, if you liked the video, enjoyed it, then please leave a like and comment. If you if you want to see more videos of mine, um, you can subscribe as well. And thank you guys for watching. This is Gabriel Scott saying, peace out.